Welcome to Becoming a Foodie. Follow a picky eater's adventures in, well, eating. I'm your host, Jordan Garland, and you're going to join me in my journeys and travels to some of the best food spots that I find. In today's episode, we're back in Detroit, Michigan, in search of some of the best pizza places. Our first stop is a Michigan staple, Buddy's Pizza. They have what they call Detroit-style pizza, and they've been around for almost a century. You can find quite a few of these pizza places all around Michigan, but my favorite one is right outside Grand Circus Park, downtown Detroit. I decided to order a four square pizza with old style pepperonis and red peppers. I like this place a lot because it's never too cheesy. And you'll see in this episode, I get the sauce on the side on all of my pizzas. To me, most deep dishes are too filling anyway, so I really like this one because it's a little thinner and it's more digestible in terms of eating a lot, I guess. The old style pepperoni are the little cups versus the flat pepperoni. <clears throat> Even though I don't eat pepperoni in most situations, when they have this kind, I have to. All right, another full pizza down. I'm gonna be gaining some weight by the end of this episode. I can tell you already, eating all these pizzas is gonna be the biggest test of this episode, but let's just keep it moving to the next location. Sicily's is located a couple blocks from where I used to live in Southwest Detroit. This one time I produced a live event where I had a half pipe built on the top deck of a cruise ship downtown Detroit. But anyways, we had the only boat in the country with a postal code of its own drive out and meet up with the princess and deliver pizzas from boat to boat. Those pizzas were from Sicily's and I'm glad they were down to make that happen. Okay, so I just left Sicily's Pizza and I am here at the Michigan Welcome Center. I wanted to eat my pizza outside because it is a beautiful day. I got a small pizza with Italian sausage and yellow pepper rings and it looks so good. I'm ready to just start chowing down. So from Sicily's, I get your traditional round pizza. As far as red meat goes, the sausage is super good. So Sicily's always has fresh ingredients, which is obviously super important. They even have house-made sausage. I hate not having napkins. Sorry for talking with my mouth full. When I was out eating at the Welcome Bridge, I seen a couple friends. Whoa, what up? Oh, hey, buddy. <laughs> what, what up? How are you? I'm good. How are you? Pretty good. It is an absolutely beautiful day out here. As you can tell, there's tons of people out in the city. You love to see it. I just ate a whole small pizza to myself. My belly is super full. It's time to go eat a bunch more pizza. Next up on our list is a spot that sits just outside of Wayne State campus in a neighborhood known as Woodbridge. I like the branding on PiSci. You can tell it really has like a millennial feel to it. Just look at the names of their pizzas. I decided to take this pizza downtown to Capitol Park and enjoy eating under the skyline. So I ordered a pizza known as the Jerky Boys, and it was so good. Okay, so I'm down at Capitol Park, and I'm about to eat this pie side. This pizza has jerk chicken and jalapeno barbecue glaze, and I am so excited to try it. I've never had this one before. Did it just for the show. This pizza also normally comes with pineapple. Do not get mad at me if you're a pineapple lover. It's just not for me. I'm not against it like most people are because it goes one way or the other. It's a polarizing subject. Since I don't like onions, I substituted them for yellow pepper rings, which obviously I like a lot. 
So I feel like there's two different types of spicy food. The ones that are just hot and spicy right away, and then the ones that slowly over time start to get hot the more you eat of it. This jalapeno barbecue glaze was so sweet at first, didn't taste spicy, not even in the slightest. But now that I'm like three pieces in, starting to taste the spice. Still not very hot. I usually like stuff medium spicy, so it's really just pretty much perfect for me. I think they did a great job with this pizza. I'm not gonna lie, it was one of my favorite pizzas I've ever had. Only a couple more bites, I could do this. All right, next up, we're headed to Moots for some New York style pizza in Detroit. It's located underneath the Z-Lot parking garage and a block away from Campus Marshes. So it's pretty much in the heart of downtown. This was another spot where I decided I was gonna try something new. Yes, um, can I get a slice of the hot Italian and then a pepperoni stick also, please? Thank you. Thank you so much. You too. Okay, so Moots Pizza is one of the few pizza places in Detroit that has pizza by the slice. It's the only downtown spot I know about, and it's super good. So I'm sitting outside the new skyscraper that they're building. If you didn't know, this is where the old Hudson's building was, and it will soon be home to Detroit's second or third tallest skyscraper. Here's some 3D renderings I did of it. Oh yeah. So this hot Italian pizza was perfect for me. It has vinegar, pepper, hot honey, spicy sausage. Mm-mm. I got a bird right here trying to come for my food. The thing I like most about the pizza roll is with most pizza rolls, you have to sit there and every few bites you can tip it upside down and a disgusting amount of grease pours out. I don't know how or why, but that pizza roll, that was not an issue. It wasn't way too cheesy. It wasn't way too saucy. It was just all around quality. I like the sesame bun. Eastern Market's a very famous location in Detroit, so naturally they gotta have a really good pizza spot. And we're headed to what's one of the most well-known pizza places in all Detroit, Sapino Pizzeria. I actually ran into my friend Al here. I didn't know that he was running the place. I that was you if I didn't see it. Go in there. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'm probably just gonna, oh really? Yeah, oh, yeah, sick. yeah, I'm managing up So they gave me a tour of the back and I was able to see the process of them making the pizzas. But after that, it was time for me to eat. So I headed to the Dequinder Cut. This pizza is called the City Wing Thing. It's got smoked chicken, smoked Gouda cheese, banana pepper, roasted garlic, and fresh mozzarella. But look how good these roasted garlic cloves look. This was a lot thinner than the other pizzas, so it was a nice change of pace from the heavy food. So back before I could afford to eat good pizza, Little Caesars saved my life. So I wanted to give this tip, if you're sick of your hot and ready's looking like this, when they're advertised like this, call your order in ahead of time and tell them you want the sauce on the side and every single time you get a quality pizza. Just trust me on this. Thank you for watching another episode of Becoming a Foodie. Click the cards above and you can watch the other episodes to see more amazing places to eat in Detroit. I'm your host, Jordan Garland. Click the subscribe button, leave a comment. And if you want to join me on more of my adventures, follow me on social media. In the meantime, enjoy this clip from my documentary film that's in production. Goodbye.